In this video, we're going to look at the follow through. What's important to note with the follow through is that it's a product of everything that has come before it and we need to make sure that we fully complete our action and drive down towards our target. Habit of his. Now he's got hold of it, but he's found the fielder. Got him. Oh, lovely. Lovely from Sharky. You just never know which one. What's important to note when looking at our follow through is that it's a product of the things that have come before it. So, our run up, our entry to the crease, our release position all affect what happens in our follow through. When actually specifically looking at our follow through, we need to make sure that we're getting a 180 degree turn with our top and bottom half of our body. This then creates that energy on the ball and finishing our action to get that ball down where we want it to. However, what I don't want you to do in your follow through is to almost spin out with that 180 degree turn and fall away after you've bowled. Okay, so a great little drill to practice this is to put some cones down by the side, stumps, whatever you've got, and as we bowl the ball, we're making that turn, but we're still getting all our energy down towards the target after we've bowled the ball. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that series of videos on finger spin. Now it's your turn to give yourself a rating on all three of those videos. So I want you to go through the run up and entry to the crease, the grip and release position, and the follow through. For each of these videos, I want you to give a rate yourself a rating, either the green, amber, or red. Green for really happy to move on, amber for happy but might have to have a re-look at it, and red for definitely needs to have another look, lots of areas of improvement. Once you've done this and once you're happy with where your game's at, move on to subscribing to the Online Cricket Academy where we've got plenty of other videos covering finger spin as well as all other areas of cricket.